this is Brian Kurz from Big Gay Horror Fan telling you all that dreams actually do come true. One of the biggest dreams in my life is to meet this amazing actress, personality, enormous talent, Kimberly Beck. Aw, thank you. It's so good to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Kimberly, everyone knows from Friday the 13th, the final chapter, but what is so amazing is you've had an incredible life, an amazing career, starting with Alfred Hitchcock and Marnie. You worked with Jimmy Stewart and Vera Miles yeah. in the FBI story. That was my that was my second job. I think I was four. Do you remember anything about that experience? I remember it not being fun. <laughs> After that, I think I was five when I, I introduced the world to Barbie. I did the first Barbie commercial. If you had Mattel's Barbie in some of her new outfits, just think of the fun you could have together. I, I think being a child actor is hard. I worked and I always made a good living, but I wasn't a, a personality. I'm grateful that, you know, whatever success I've had came much later. One of the things I'm grateful for, actually, is uh, your appearance in Hunter. We shot on the Queen Mary. That's perfect, the Queen and, Mary. Uh, the Queen Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I got my dressing room and I said, well, wait, I'm going to spend the night. So I remember that was, that was the only thing I really remember about Hunter. <laughs> and you had some success, which has always fascinated me as a teen pop star, right? Didn't you have a pop hit in Australia? Yeah. But I've always been fascinated by that. I wrote a song when I was nine, <clears throat> and I recorded it with my stepfather when I was 12, and it was a big hit in Australia. It was number one for quite a long time. The Royal Australian Navy Band used it as their theme song. This is so incredible. funny. So I went to the home. song is called Let's, Let's Take a Walk. walk. Hand in hand. Let's take a walk. Of your vast body of work, is there something that really sticks out with you as being something that was a very special experience for you? I guess the movie that I met my husband on. It's a private war? Yes! <laughs> oh my god, I love that you know it. Joe D'Alessandro. Joe D'Alessandro and, and Martin, Martin Hewitt. Hewitt. It was really bad. It, it was How something. do you find your fingers in your pocket and act like that's, you know, like, what do you do when you find a finger in your pocket? That doesn't happen to you every day? No. It doesn't know, happen to me I, every day either. I had either. no I don't, I don't emotional recall of the reality of of that. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun because it was romantic and we fell in love and um, that was the best. Yeah, awesome. I had never really awesome. fallen in love with anybody on a movie set. Good. Were you reluctant at first then? Or? Totally. I was so surprised to like somebody. And obviously it stood the test of time. It was very true and it real. It has. And, That's and what I'm most gra grateful for, is that I was able to have this incredible relationship and family. My children are insanely fabulous. I look at them, I go, are you having a good childhood? Because I know I've made mistakes. <laughs> My kids are like, stop asking if I've had a good childhood. childhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want them to have a childhood because I didn't have much of one. And I think that um, compassion pours forth. Aww, Even in the fact you. that you agreed to do an interview with of a course. goofy guy like me. <laughs> My play, that's why I'm here. This is so much fun to see awesome. the fans. and I, I'm very grateful. Thank you so Thank much, you, Kimberly, Brian. for taking it's the really time. It's really good to meet you. It's very nice to meet you as well. Thank and you for your blog that you wrote and doing the research on me oh. and stuff I forgot about. Your heart and your feisty compassion. Thank you. Shows and everything on screen, Aww, so thank it's you. well worth You got it. Thank you. Big A Horror fan saying sweet love and pink grew. You'll never be as lucky as I am right now. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. Thank you. <laughs>